1948, French film critic Alexandre Astruc coined the phrase Camera stylo Camera pen in English. The term is used to describe a personal and intellectual style of filmmaking that would flourish during the New Wave era. This is the Camera Stilo's successor. Um, actually, um... Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, but thy eternal summer shall not fade. Bat, did you write that? Dad's like a famous quote. From where? Cliff's Notes. Oh. Half a century after Astruc, Cher Horowitz held a pen to her face as her voiceover mused that Searching for a boy in high school is as useless as searching for meaning in a Polly Shore movie. Then she intentionally dropped the fuzzy pen to get a cute boy's attention. Pens are such a quotidian object that their cinematic symbolism can be overlooked. But here are some notable exceptions. Were you expecting an exploding pen? We don't really go in for that. Among the exceptions is the fuzzy pen, a staple of 90s teen girl desks. It's an unsung hero, and unquestionably one of the most iconic stilos in cinema. Elle Wood. Sorry, Alexandra. In addition to clueless, fluff-topped pink pens also make unforgettable appearances in Legally Blonde and Gone Girl. These pens are rooted in the pastel trends of the 90s, and today have great nostalgic potential. On screen, they're a perfect indicator of a self-aware pop femininity. Hi, I'm Elle Woods, and this is Freezer Woods, and we're both Gemini vegetarians. Legally Blonde is a frothy but empowering take on the fish-out-of-water cliches. This sorority girl turned Harvard Law alumni is surrounded by boringly attired students with laptops. Elle's heart-shaped notebook and fluffy pen, both frivolous and functional, stand out in this very serious class. The pen is a tidy representation of her personality. I'm so crazy, stupid, happy. Gone Girl, the most recent mainstream example of this highly niche genre of fluffy pen cinema, unsurprisingly features its most subversive appearance. Perfect, brilliant, amazing Amy. Amy Dunn writes down her thoughts with one of these fluffy pens. I'm so crazy, stupid, happy but her diary is fabricated, part of her toolbox to sell a false narrative about her husband. What did you do to your pregnant wife? Keeping one's innermost thoughts in a diary is often a gendered activity, and Amy uses this knowledge as part of her manipulation. He may truly kill me. WTF. It's no coincidence Amy picks up the pen as her deception is revealed. The fluff becomes sinister just when the audience realizes what Amy is capable of. I've killed for you. Who else can say that? The screenplay describes Amy's pen as pink, feathered, silly. Adjectives that, in a lovable way, could describe both Cher and Elle. They relish their girly girlness and are ultimately earnest, good-humoured, and smarter than most people give them credit for. It's just like Hamlet said, to thine own self be true. Uh, no, uh, Hamlet didn't say that. <laughs> I think that I remember Hamlet accurately. <laughs> well, I remember Mel Gibson accurately, and he didn't say that. That Polonius guy did. To thine own self be true. She knows her Shakespeare. Hello, Anson. Like Cher and Elle, Amy is intelligent and blonde. Unlike them, she doesn't use a fluffy pen because it goes with her outfit, but because she wants to seem like one of those girls, someone above suspicion. Just my cheek. I'm so crazy, stupid, happy. The fluffy pen can be seen as a winkingly feminine take on a phallic symbol, but it's more than just that. 
The women who use the fuzz are all type A. Cher, Elle, and Amy are all determined to get what they want. And a fuzz top stilo is a small but noticeable way of announcing oneself. What's a standard pen in comparison? If there's one universal truth about the fluffy pen, it's this. Women on screen never use them by accident. Oh, this, this is a rare samurai pen. A gift from Emperor Hirohito. Unbreakable, impervious to everything but water. Its value is beyond estimation. That's fascinating. Mm. But I'm sure you didn't pay me this visit to hear a lecture on fine art, Lieutenant. I'm investigating the attempted murder of one of your dock workers. <laughs> 